What's up guys? <laughs> I did not expect to be here, but hey, we have another great video for you here today. My name is Kyle James. Today we're looking at some top three proficiencies or skills that you're going to want to be good at before you kick in your financial analyst internship or your first financial analyst role, right? Okay, cool. Let's get into it. Look, today you're gonna get the inside scoop from a financial analyst. I've been a financial analyst intern at a company when I was in college for six months and now I've been a full-time financial analyst for six months at a different company. So a little, you know, wider breath there. I've seen two different companies in their finance departments. I know, I know, you know, I got that experience, about a year experience, that's a lot, I know. But uh, just, just chill, uh, just listen up, it's important information. Um, let's jump right into it. Um, we're gonna start with probably the most important thing when you're a financial analyst, I think all of you guys know this, but I'm going to say it anyway because it needs to be said because it's so very true. And that is you need to know Excel, period. Look, you're going to live in Excel as a financial analyst, internship or full time. That is where you're going to do all your work. That's going to be your bread and butter. You should know that like the back of your hand, even though I don't really know like what the back of my hand looks like that well, the saying, it's a saying, right? So you know what to compare it to. It's like a, um, like a pilot to a plane right like this is where you're gonna live like a financial analyst you're gonna live in Excel every day or if you don't live in Excel every day you're gonna live in Excel every other day so it's gonna happen you can't escape this now if you hate Excel like I had, I had a friend she hated Excel but she was getting a degree in finance I was like listen you're gonna need to change your, your major I know you're like a senior but you're gonna need to change your major because she's like I don't want to change my major you know but no look the point is it's very important to know this tool now if you're already good at Excel and you, you've used it a lot, like I know you probably have, then all you need to do is just, you know, get the rust off, get back into using it. You know, the saying is true. Okay. This happened to me. If you don't use it, you lose it, period. Okay. I had to go back and before my internship and before my full-time role and watch videos again, get used to Excel and, you know, all the options and tools and formulas and tables and all of that stuff. You can always learn more in Excel. This tool is crazy. This tool is psycho. There's people who have been using Excel for what, 10, 15 years and still are learning new things. Um, and if you're not good at it, listen up. You can go on to YouTube and find all of these cool Excel tutorials for basic beginners and really just get up to speed in about a week. I should probably make an Excel tutorial. I haven't yet, so just don't come at me like that, okay? I know I've, I haven't made one yet, but I probably should. And learning Excel, by the way, and being really, really good at it, not only makes you more confident in your job, but when you have leadership, or when you have a file you're working on, or when you have like a manager come to you for stuff, you know the ins and outs, right? So you know how to tackle these problems. Or he or she may ask, I want this and this KPI and this metric. Guess what? You're gonna be ready. You're, you're gonna be like, I got that. And then you're gonna produce this analysis or work in this file and come up with this you know, analysis. And you're gonna go to them and be like, oh, how does this look? And they're gonna be like, damn, you know your Because you're gonna know Excel. Sorry for my language, all right. Sorry, that was just a passionate moment. Now, the next one, number two, is less of like a tool, like a skill. I mean, it might be a skill. Do you think mindsets are skill? Anyway, it's a mindset, right? I think being a financial analyst requires a certain mindset. And that mindset really is this. You wanna be detail-oriented. You're gonna wanna be analytical, which you probably already are if you're in a finance degree or a finance field. And you're gonna wanna be curious, now that's important curious because finding the why as a financial analyst is actually one of the pillars of being in that upper echelon being that better financial analyst the one that stands out you get asks from business partners from managers from leadership all the time okay all the time and a lot of times the numbers to you they may tell you a great story but the business partners they want to know the why digging into the why and being curious and having that natural muscle to find the reason behind the number, I can look at a number, right? I can say, oh, look, revenue was up by 10% this quarter. Then, then, then our plan, then our forecast. Amazing, right? But our gross margin or your net margin is down by 2%. What happened there? Guess what you have? You have that mindset to go in, go into the files, go into the data, reach out to a partner, figure it out, find the why. You are firsthand, you are, you are driving the business forward. Period. Now, the last one is also super important. I overlooked this for the longest time, and that is being an effective communicator. I know what you're thinking, okay? 
I am an effective communicator, dude. Like Kyle, you don't know what you're talking about. I passed, I passed the interview and I got the offer. Okay, <clears throat> I know that. I'm sure you're a great verbal communicator, but you're going to want to be a little more than that. Why? Because not all your communication in a corporate setting is verbal. Written communication, super important. <laughs> I can't tell you how many emails uh, I write or read. And sometimes the biggest disconnects happen within those emails. Also in finance, you're gonna find that you are going to speak to and write about um, certain variances, certain uh, 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 numbers, okay? And there's this thing we say in the finance field, and I'm sure you've heard it, but being able to effectively tell the story. That is extremely hard, actually. I have been working on this, and I still am. This is the, probably the most important skill to have when you, think, when you think about making an impact on the business, to push business initiatives, to push business understanding, so that leadership knows what direction, you know, what path to take the business forward based on the numbers. Dude, you're talking about, I wanna have an impact. This is how you have an impact. Ultimately, these three things will help you have the biggest impact and be just a complete just beast of a financial analyst intern or a financial analyst full-time, you're gonna be a complete savage. Guys, I had a great time talking to you. I hope you uh, gained some value from this. And if you did, like, subscribe, if you know, you don't have to if you don't want to, you know, it's not mandatory. But of course, this is all stuff based on my experience. I have only had a year of experience, and so, you know, just take it with a grain of salt. Um, I'll see you guys next time. I gotta get some food. I'm actually super hungry. 